Namaste and welcome to Daily News Simplify, the what, why and how of newspaper reading. Today we would be analyzing the Delhi edition of the Hindu newspaper of 29 December 2017. Now let us begin. Now we would begin by analyzing the news on the triple talaq bill. Now this news also continues on page 10 and has been referred on multiple pages in today's paper. Now what we would be analyzing here is the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Bill of 2017 or which is more popularly known as the Triple Talaq Bill. Now it is in the news because it has been passed by the Lok Sabha. But this bill still has to be passed by the Rajya Sabha. Now this bill makes instant triple talaq which is also known as talaq e biddat a criminal offence. Now it is a criminal offence under the category of cognizable which is defined under the CRPC or the Criminal Procedure Code and means that a case in which a police officer may arrest without a warrant. Cognizable offences are usually offences which are serious in nature like murder, rape, kidnapping among others. The bill also makes this a non bailable criminal offence. So when a person is accused of a non bailable offence, it is a matter of discretion of the court to grant or refuse bail and therefore application for bail has to be made in the court. Now hopefully up till here you have understood the certain features of the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Bill 2017 as to the reason why is it in the news, what to look forward to the main feature of this bill and the reason for its controversy. Now to help you to further understand this bill, let us analyze the background on how this bill came to be. Now the Supreme Court in a five judge bench in a judgment of three by two majority had disallowed the practice of instant divorce by triple talaq. Now the Supreme Court in its judgment banned the triple talaq under article 142. So under article 142, the Supreme Court in the exercise of its jurisdiction may pass such a decree or order as is necessary for doing complete justice in any cause or matter pending before it. Now this article is very important from your prelims examination point of view. The Supreme Court further said that triple talaq is not an integral part of Islam. Moreover, the Supreme Court said that triple talaq is against the right to equality and is also arbitrary in nature. And finally, ask the central government to frame a law on the subject. Now the one question that is asked as to why did the Supreme Court ask the central government to frame a law. Now this happened because even after the Supreme Court this allowed triple talaq. Cases were still being registered after it was banned. So after this, the central government formed the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Bill 2017. Now hopefully up till here, you understand the background to the whole triple talaq issue, the verdict of the Supreme Court about Article 142 and as to why the Supreme Court asked the central government to frame a law. Now we move on to our next article. Now we have taken this news from page 7. Now what this article talks about is the advanced air defense interceptor missile. Now consider this to be the surface of the earth. So if an enemy country launches a missile towards India, then an advanced air defense interceptor missile will try to intercept the enemy missile in what is known as the endo atmosphere which is about 15 to 30 kilometers from the Earth's surface and thereby stop an incoming enemy missile by intercepting and destroying it in this region. So hopefully if a question is ever asked in your prelims examination with regards to the range and the region of the advanced air defense interceptor missile you would be able to answer. Now another aspect which this article talks about is the ballistic missile defense system. Now the ballistic missile defense system 
consists of two interceptor missiles. The first one is the Prithvi defense vehicle. And the second one is the one we just recently talked about is the advanced area defense missile. Now the Prithvi missile defense system is used for higher altitudes of roughly more than 50 kilometers while the advanced air defense is used for lower altitudes. So hopefully if a question is ever asked in your prelims examination on the ballistic missile defense system, what are its two features and what is the difference between the Prithvi defense system and the advanced area defense system, you will be able to answer. Now we move on to our next article. Now we have taken this news from page 7. Now this article talks about milk production. Now this article is supported from your examination point of view in the paper 4 in specific to the economic development section with regard to agriculture, farmers, etc. Now the first point that the article makes is that India is the largest milk producer and has been the largest milk producer in the world for the past 15 years. That the Indian growth in milk production has been about 5.6% while the global growth in milk production has been of about 2%. Now obviously this has had an impact on the income of the dairy producers and of farmers. The first point is that there has been a rise in the production of milk. And second, that there has been an increase in the price of milk per kilogram. So with both these factors together, there has been a rise in the income of dairy farmers. Now the third aspect which this article talks about is that the Department of Animal Husbandry, Dairy and Fisheries is working upon the National Action Plan Vision of 2022, which has three features. The first is that it seeks to enhance dairy cooperatives. The second point is to increase the coverage of the villages. And the third and the last point is to form milk processing units. Now hopefully up till here, you understand the statistics of milk production in India. You understand the economic impact of this growth, how this increase in milk production affected dairy farmers. And finally, you also know about the National Action Plan Vision of 2022. Now we move on to our next article. Now we have taken this news from page 8. Now the focus of this article is based upon three aspects. The first is a problem. The second is the cause of the problem and the third is the solution to this problem. Now the problem that this article talks about is the rise in exam related suicides among students in Indian schools. Now this problem of exam related suicide is high from class 10th to class 12th due to the pressure of the board examinations. Now apart from this, According to the National Crime Records Bureau, in 2014, about 8,032 students committed suicide, of which only 30% were due to the exam-related pressure. Now moving on to our second aspect, which deals with the cause or the reasons for the rise in exam-related suicides among students in India. Now, according to this article, the main reason for suicides among students in Indian school is because of their weak performance in examination. Now, the question is, how does a poor performance in an examination lead to rise in suicides among Indian students? Now, the first reason given is that it causes a sense of hopelessness for the student with regards to his future in terms of getting a job, in terms of getting into a good college and otherwise. And this sense of hopelessness can lead to rise in depression among students. Now the second reason given is there is a fear among students that they would be scolded by their parents. Because of this fear of being scolded, they try to find means where they could avoid this. Wherein suicide becomes one of those means. Because of their weak performance in the examination, they would lose the respect of their friends and of the society in terms 
of their neighbors or the extended family and to avoid this loss of respect they try to find means where they could overcome this and one of the means that comes up is of suicide now the fourth and the last cause is is that students do not become aware as to what is the cause of their weakness as to why they have performed weak in the examination because many times in the board examinations you're not able to see as to how the teacher has checked your paper as to why certain marks were cut as to why certain marks were given and because of this unknown cause they're not able to comprehend as to what is the cause of their weakness and this leads to a rise in depression among the students now because of these four reasons a student enters into a state of depression and believes that suicide is a better option to overcome these problems now hopefully up till here you understand what is the problem you also understand the statistics related to the exam related suicide you also understand the main cause of a rise in exam related suicides in india and how does weak performance in in an examination lead to this problem now moving on to the third aspect as to what are the solution through which we can prevent the rise in suicides among students now the first solution that has been given is of preventive guidelines now these preventive guidelines would be given to students teachers and parents on how they could handle the rise in depression among students due to weak examination performance and prevent the problems that rise from this now such preventive guidelines have been given by cbse or the central board of secondary education and by several school boards such as of telangana andhra pradesh among others to students teachers and parents to deal with this problem the second solution the article talks about is of teacher training now by teacher training it means that we need to train our teachers where they could assess the children who are in trouble of being in depression of taking extreme measures because of their problems apart from this we need to ensure proper counseling mechanisms whereby a school requires a counselor to be present at their premises to whom the student can talk to freely and in privacy now the article does state that the teachers training and counseling mechanism is a part of the national curriculum framework of 2005 and similarly is taught in the bed and the emit syllabus for teachers now the third and the final solution is of hope now by this we mean that we need to give students the hope that scoring low is not the end of the world and that they are capable of achieving great success in the future and this hope needs to be built by the parents teachers and by the society at large now hopefully up till here you understand the solution that have been given to combat or prevent to prevent the exam related suicides in india you also understand the measures that have already been taken for this and hopefully you also understand the main reason through which we can prevent this problem now this article is important for your examination from the social justice perspective and from the ethics perspective now we move on to our next article now the article growing forest on page number 8 refers to the compensatory afforestation fund act 2016 which has been covered in the dns of 27th december 2017 while this article on page 9 deals with the 2g case and has been covered in the dns of 22nd december 2017 and you can refer to both these videos to understand the respective topic now we move on to our next article now we have taken this news from page 11 now what this article talks about is reverse brain drain now the department of science and technology has stated that there has been a 70% growth in indian origin scientists returning to india between 2012 and 2017 now to understand this you first have to know that one of the reason as to why scientists would move abroad was lack of financial support given to them for research purposes now the issue of brain drain has been a problem in india for decades and for the past 10 years there has been an aggressive attempt to reverse this trend so to ensure a reversal of the brain drain 
the government of India started several scholarships to help Indian scientists in promoting their research. Now the schemes were such as the Ramanujan Fellowship Scheme, the Inspire Faculty Scheme, the Ramalingan Swami Fellowship Scheme, and several others. Now because of these scholarships that were given to researchers, a lot of Indian origin scientists ended up coming back to India. Now this article and the issue of reverse brain drain is important from your UPSC point of view and can be asked in your essay paper. Now with this, we come to an end in the analysis of today's paper. Now we move on to the question for today.